Hi guys, welcome back to Fishing in the UK. So tonight we're going to be doing a little bit more beach fishing. We're going to head up to a beach in Northumberland. So hopefully we'll catch a couple of fish. using a size 5 o hook on a little pulley rig I'm just going to put a couple of worms onto this one and hopefully that'll pull away in a nice fish we're targeting bass tonight and flounder from this beach um, I've had a nice bass from here before so Hopefully there's still a few around, it's a little bit late in the year, but you never know, there might be some mink around. There we go. On my little rod here, I've just got a single hook flapper rig with a circle hook on and a little three ounce weight. That's a plain weight, just so it like moves around in the current. And onto here, just gonna put a nice juicy ragworm and I'm just gonna leave the tail hanging. And just thread it up like that, there we go. That's ready to cast out. I've got 30 pound braid on and I've got a rubber lead out of 25 pound. So I'm just going to whack this one out close in, see if we can pick anything up on this one. So this is the first fish of the night. <laughs> Look at this beast. Yes. yes, this is what we've come for. Absolutely stunning bass. There we go. Lovely big bass from the beach of the night. Um, I'm just going to quickly measure it from the tip of the mouth to the tip of the tail, and that's 51 centimeters there. So that's about three pounds. So we're just going to quickly weigh it with scales, see what weight it actually is. So I'm just going to quickly weigh it on these scales. Just to see where it is. 3.14 pounds. So like I said, we're gonna get this one cooked up a little bit later on after we've done a little bit of fishing. So I'm just gonna try a squid now. Um, I'm just gonna put a whole one on. They're not fully defrosted yet, but it should be okay. So I'll just go straight through there like that. And then I'm just gonna come straight through the bottom. There we go, and just poke it out there. And I'll just bound it on with a bit of bait elastic. I'm not using a panel hook tonight, I'm just using my normal single 5 hook. You can use a panel if you want to, but I don't mind just using a single. Gonna clip this down and then get that cast out. There we go, so there's a lovely little flounder. That, um, we'll get this one chucked back and then we'll see if we can catch some more fish tonight. Are you having a picture or you want to go no. back? Go back. Right. There we go. 
off it goes. Well, we haven't had a bite for about about an hour or so, so all we're going to do now is head to the top of the beach and we're going to cook that lovely bass that I caught earlier on. So just as I was saying that, the lovely little coalies just took the bait. So first I'm just going to dig a little hole here, just won't have the fire in. We've got a little starter bundle here. As usual, we've got cotton wool here with a little bit of Vaseline on. These are ideal for starting your fires. Handy to keep in your box or something. This one's fireproof. <laughs> I think it literally is. Oh, there we go. And I'm just going to put that in there. Like that. And that should hopefully catch the wood. And the other little bits that we've got on. Excellent. Yeah, it is. Starting to catch nicely. So there we go. That's the fire away now. We'll just build it up a little bit more and then once it's fully grown and we've got some embers going I'll let him prepare the bass and we'll get that cooked and we'll have a little bit of supper. I'm just going to build it out a bit now. That side seems to be catching really well. So there we go, that's what fire up now. Yep. Okay, that was hot. Right, so for starters, we're just going to have a little cook up of some oh, some little prawn skewers with taties and other little bits on. I'll just leave them cooking on the fire. So I just got this little grill thing off uh, Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to get yourselves one. It's quite handy for cooking stuff like this and cooking little fillets of fish and whatnot. You can just put all your stuff in it and then just rest it all over your fire. So this is the bass we caught before. Um, I'm just gonna take a fillet off. I'm only gonna cook one fillet tonight because um, we've got other stuff to eat as well. So first of all, I think I'll have to descale it. I'll just get as many off as we can because at the end of the day, we're just cooking this on the beach. So yeah, you can see there, there's a lot of scales coming off and a lot of slime. So with bass, you've got to watch for the spines on the back. As you can see there, they're actually quite sharp. And here as well, there's a little, a little spike that you've got to be careful of. So we'll just get a few more of the scales off and then I'll fillet it. And then we'll get it cooked over the fire. So I'm going to go in through here. And up its head there. And then I'm going to come down just above the spine, above these fins here. So there we go. 
lovely fillet of nice fresh short coat bass so I'm just going to cut it in half straight down there like I say I'm going to keep the other fillet for for home I'm just cutting straight through that and then I'm just going to lay it into this one on one side I think I might trim that belly fat off that side trim the belly off this bit I there we go just so that fits in there a bit better so all you do with this is you pull the handle back pull this little pin back here and then that just goes over there and that keeps that in place That's the bass nearly done as well. As you can see there, that's cooking really nicely. A couple of more seconds for that. Yeah, like, take it everywhere. So that's the bass cooked. And we're going to take it off now. Yeah, we will. Skin's a little bit crispy, but that's fine. There we go. I'm just going to eat mine with my fingers. It is really nice, isn't it? Yes. That is absolutely spot on. Delicious. You can't get any fresher than that. Straight out the sea, straight on the fire. Absolutely beautiful. Well, guys, I think that's all we've got time for tonight. Um, the fire's starting to die out now, so we're going to pack up and head home. We've had a really good night on the beach. We've caught a nice, decent sized bass, um, a couple of flatties and a coli. We've done a little bit of beach cooking. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hopefully I'll see you soon.